Hello everybody. I got another third part. It's a surprise third part. I do this all the time, but the verse of the day is Psalm 37 3. Trust in the Lord and do good, dwell in the land and enjoy safe pasture. In verses of the day number 48 and 49, I talked about this. In verses of the day 48, I talked about myself where the Lord has protected me. But in this one, I want to talk about how the Lord has protected my grandfather, Kenneth Leeper. And when Grandpa, this had to be in the, probably in the 90s, when Grandpa was 70-some, he was the, one of the most happiest people. He'd go around and everybody loved him. He would preach the gospel. He would give them fruits and vegetables. He would fix their cars. Do all sorts of things for people. Grandpa did so much for so many people. And he was going to the grocery store. And he always had a mission for God. He was going to the grocery store. And he saw a man there. And the man looked antsy. And Grandpa said, hey, brother. You need a ride home? And the guy's like, huh? He's like, you need a ride home? He's like, uh, sure, I'll take a ride. So Grandpa gave him a ride, talked to him, chatted him up, you know, just just shared some things about Jesus. And once he got the guy to his house, he was like, uh, the guy told him, he's like, hey, I was going to rob and kill you, but I'm not. I'm not. And... They went on their own separate ways. Trust in the Lord and do good. Dwell in the land. Enjoy safe pasture. That's what Grandpa did. When we do things for people, for because as the Lord leads us, as we have on the armor of God, I talked about the armor of God. When we have it on, we are literally fighting powers and principalities, especially with the sword of the spirit and the prayer that is on our, our armor. We are stopping powers and principalities, and those powers and principalities sit on people. They just rest on the people. Some people are literally demonically possessed. If they're not demonically possessed and are demonically oppressed with sin and things that are in their life, and when we when we go and share the gospel with them and, and be good and do good to them, it it relieves them. Those demons cannot stay around. They got to go. They got to go somewhere. And that demon that was going to, to re, that demon, that power and principality that was going to have that man kill my grandfather had to go away. And all that was left was that man himself and his conscience. And Grandpa was safe. Romans 8.28 says, And we know that for those who love God, all things work together for good, for those who are called according to his purpose. All things work together for good for those who are called according to his purpose. So I leave y'all with that. Trust in the Lord, do good. Dwell in the land and enjoy safe pasture. Get some armor of God. Get the Lord. If you don't know the Lord, get him. He is the best thing that can even happen to anybody. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this day, Lord. Just please lead and guide us. May we wear your armor. If we're not saved, may we get saved, Lord, so that we can wear your armor. And just thank you, Father. Thank you for this day, and we just pray for the people who are out there suffering. Please give them comfort. Please lead them in what they need to do. In Yeshua's name we pray. Amen. Goodbye.